So here are your options. Create a saved audience. This is where we're gonna start. If you've never advertised on Facebook, say you don't have a current customer list, you've never used a Facebook pixel, this is where you wanna start. Now, honestly, Facebook's built in a way to allow really anybody and everybody to advertise. So it's gonna walk you through the steps, so I'm not gonna go super in depth here, but just to give you an idea, create your audience name, you know, try and be specific with it. Uh, Facebook, why they do so well with advertising, is because you can be so, so, so specific. So, audience name. We don't currently have any custom audience or lookalike audiences, so nothing's gonna be able to appear there. Location. Everyone in this location, people who live here, who've recently visited, if you have like a timely offer, people traveling in this location, you know, say you have, essentially you have a, you're a tourism business, anything like that, okay? So usually we're gonna do live in this location. If you're a contractor, you're working at people's homes. Now we're gonna start out pretty broad, United States. I'm gonna go ahead and do an example for us personally. So we're gonna do North Carolina, boom. Um, let's do Charlotte, North Carolina. Great. Now, actually, you can see up here that you can change the distance. So maybe we're a contractor that does business in a 50-mile radius. So we're going to do a 50-mile radius. Age. Great. What age are you targeting? You know they're homeowners, so they're most likely going to be a little bit later on. I don't want to exclude anybody necessarily. So maybe I'll do 30 to 65 plus, or you could even do a little bit older. Let's say 35, you're looking for people who are more mature. Depending on what product or service you're selling, maybe you target either men or women more specifically. I'm gonna leave that alone. And languages, some people argue you don't need to put anything in here. I like to just go ahead and put in English, just to be sure, you never know, um, anything like that. Now here's the detail targeting. Add demographics, interests, or behaviors, okay? So let's say that we're a home construction company. So, you know, then you're gonna try and look for, for people that have interests that match with, uh, with your company, okay? So we're gonna go with construction. Now what's really cool is Facebook has suggestions here for similar types of stuff. So maybe home construction, these people are currently looking at real estate. That would make sense, right? They're looking at buying a house. Perfect. House hunting. Awesome. Likely to move. There's so many different things. And as you can see, there's different interests and behaviors. Facebook, whether you like it or not, is tracking every single thing that you like, every single group that you look at, every single Facebook page that you look at. And if there's a Facebook pixel, what I mentioned earlier, installed on a website, it's tracking you know, what you're doing on other websites, not just Facebook as well. So a little scary on one end of it as a consumer, but great on this end as an advertiser. So now once you figure out exactly what you want, you can either exclude certain people, you know, um, you don't want people who are, I don't, I don't, even, I don't even know what I would put right here, uh, home construction. What type of people would you not want? Oh, you can actually put income levels in here just just for um, to let you guys know. So maybe you don't want someone that makes you know forty to fifty thousand dollars a year. That's not that's not enough for you guys. Or another, I don't want someone that makes fifty to seventy five. I'm building really nice houses, so I don't want that. So that's a pretty cool tidbit right there that you can put income in. Um, and then, yeah, that's, that's usually about it. So those are going to be the saved audience that you want to make. So I can't create it here because I don't have a name. It's going to be called test one. Boom. And now you could create the audience and it's going to go ahead and save it for you. So like I said, that's step one. If you've never used Facebook before at all, right there, saved audiences. Now you can go ahead and go make that, go advertise to people. Pretty cool also, by the way, it's going to go show you up here, your potential reach of how many people based on all of these things um uh, that you know it's it's gonna allow you to do it's like let's just say right now what's it at Two hundred eighty thousand people so this is gonna be and must also match sorry what i just did by the way is i did narrow audience so i must also match let's say they also must love gardening gardening uh just just to show you look look, look what's happening 110,000 people now so it, it dropped it way down from 280,000 people because so now they must also like gardening. Now there's only 110,000 of those people out there. So just to give you an example of how specific and how detailed you can be. 
Cool. I'm going to cancel out of that.